Dear friends in Christ, on this solemnity as we gather around this altar in union with Christ and in communion with all the saints, we are reminded of the call we all have received in and through baptism. We are called to grow in holiness, to become saints. And how blessed we are on the solemnity that the church holds up for us, those men and women throughout the ages who have been faithful to that call, who've been canonized as saints, known for their zeal and their courage, their heroic virtue, for being faithful to the Beatitudes just taught by Jesus in today's gospel, known as the peacemakers, the merciful, the pure of heart. Just this morning, I saw the grade school students coming from Mass, all dressed up as saints. And I kept asking each one, who are you? And they would tell me. And they would tell me all about the saint. I think we should be able to do the same. What a great help that is in our spiritual lives to, to read the lives of the saints, to be taught by them, to be inspired by them. We are here today because we truly want to grow in holiness. We want to become saints, but we meet some obstacles along the way. But with each one, there's a remedy. One such obstacle is sometimes we get paralyzed on that path to holiness because we become so aware of our sins and our weaknesses and our failures. Here's the remedy. Remember, yes, we are sinners, but so were the saints. But they never forgot what St. Paul said today, that we are also always God's beloved children. They relied on his mercy and love. They persevered. They became a new creation. And they will help us to do the same. Here's another obstacle on that path to holiness. We get so consumed with the things of this world that we, we spend all of our time and energy and resources on the here and now. The remedy? Remember that life here on earth is merely a journey. Our lives, our hearts must be focused on the things which are above, the one that we truly desire, our Lord Jesus, who promises today that those who are united to him, here's what you can be assured of. Rejoice and be glad. Your reward will be great in heaven. And here's one other obstacle. We so much want to become saints, to grow in holiness, but often we rely just on our own resources. The remedy is this. We cannot become holy unless it's with God's grace and our cooperation with it. That's why we're here today. That's why we celebrate the sacraments. That's why we allow God's word to enlighten us. That's why we are so blessed to come forward in just a few minutes to receive Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, the one who, as we sang today, is our rock, our might, and our fortress. So dear friends, strengthen with the gift of the Holy Eucharist and with the help of Mary and Joseph and all the saints, may we strive daily to grow in holiness, to become saints so that one day we will live with God in heaven forever and ever. Amen.